if you think about what you care about with education, this, this is what matters in education, is helping people learn new things, to, but not just learn new things, but to learn how they can use those things. And in that case, how they can learn it to make decisions. And what we see is that, you know, the real value in when people can solve important problems, think about things in helpful ways to do things differently, that's all about making, you know, that's all about using this knowledge to make decisions. Now, you know, so first we're trying to identify, and we have been able to identify these sets of decisions and these sets of skills embodied in those decisions. But now we're starting to also measure how well students are learning those, and we find that, you know, very successful students, students who are graduating from Stanford with the highest marks, they're getting good marks, but they're not learning to think this way at all. That's a weakness of the education system. It's it's teaching people knowledge but not how to use that knowledge and so this is a clear place where we see that education can do a lot better than what it's doing now in, in the aspects of critical thinking and, and creativity I mean many many of these decisions involve what people think of as critical thinking of you know when you have a question, what is the evidence that will help you settle, decide that question, and decide if something's correct or incorrect, decide if a conclusion's right or not? It's Those are all about thinking about evidence, seeing how, de evaluating how well that evidence uh, allows you to decide things, how credible that evidence is, how credible the conclusions are given that evidence. A lot of this involves, you know, scientific models and whether they're justified or not. In lots of the world these days, there's big societal issues and, and debates over, you know, issues of climate models, over issues of whether genetically modified crops are safe or not. And so all of these very much involve the need to be able to look at what's the real question, what is the evidence, in our best understanding of science, what it, you know, which are safe and which aren't safe, and those kinds of decisions. Going back to why are these students, why do they not seem to have this capability? And it's very clear that in our teach instruction system, we're teaching students knowledge, we're testing them on knowledge, we're testing them on whether they memorize facts and procedures. We're not testing them on can they actually use that knowledge in any meaningful way? And so that means using that knowledge in these decisions. It's all about, you know, making, deciding what knowledge is relevant and then how to use it, create thinking of new things. And people say, sometimes say, well, that's just, people are born to that. And it's clearly not the case at all. It's purely a matter of what they get practiced and what the the education system is having to do. If you, it's very clear if you want to have students learn that, learn to make decisions, you just have them in their instruction practice making decisions <laughs> with this knowledge and seeing how they can use that knowledge to, to, to both practice in terms of their critical thinking, practice decisions and how you decide things. Also in from the point of view of creativity, I mean, we really teach anti-creativity in our school systems now. We want, we teach students, you know, they're su they're supposed to get the one answer the instructor wants to see, and they have all these important exams where the requirement is get this answer that's supposed to be the answer in the exam. Creativity is about learning to come up with answers that's not what everybody else has already thought about. It's not the single thing it's to think about in different ways and so all of these things we sort of are both critical thinking and creativity we're kind of teaching against that with our conventional systems and what we measure and tell students we value and so it's it's actually fairly easy in principle to fix just have them start in the education have them start practicing and getting feedback and getting value on it. We have a lot of people in the world. There's a lot of big societal problems that's resulting from. And I think, I don't know how to solve all those problems, but clearly if we have people who are 
better educated in this sense of better making better decisions using the tools and knowledge of science, we have a better hope of solving these problems.